Alright guys and gals, ages ago we had He-Man on a death battle, and ever since then I've been dying to give you guys a glimpse into not only the Masters of the Universe franchise, but an era of cartoons as a whole. I'm Jocelyn the Intern, I do all the research nobody else wants to, straight from the desk of Death Battle. Okay, so we all know He-Man was pretty dope. I mean, sure, it had its silly moments, but at the end of the day, it was a fun cartoon. But did you know that He-Man was almost a spaceman? See, if you didn't know, He-Man was created by Mattel, an American toy company, and they had one purpose, sell toys. So, a designer at Mattel had a concept to create a new toy so simple and generic that it could blop right into any kid's fantasy and play alongside their other toys. Hence the generic name, He-Man. The designer put together three versions of He-Man to take to his boss to try to sell him on the idea. One was an astronaut, one was a soldier, and one was a barbarian. You guessed it, they went with Barbarian, and the Masters of the Universe cartoon was created to sell the shit out of these new toys. However, that's not to say that all their toys were good. <laughs> uh, far from it, in fact. Take, for instance, Snout Spout, a man that has a robot elephant head because... reasons? Real talk, two of Mr. Spout's best qualities are that he can inhale profusely and then exhale profusely. I shit you not, this guy sucks and blows both figuratively and literally. Although, to be fair, his greatest attribute is obviously courage, because anyone who rocks a pair of jorts that short has got some huge nuts. Well, actually, no, he probably has baby nuts, or else he would be having wardrobe malfunctions like crazy. Mm, I think it's safe to say Snout's only got one trunk hanging low. <laughs> okay, let's see who's next on the chopping block. Oh, I know! Strobo! This hero has the power to... reflect light? Seriously, that's his thing! Light reflection! Yeah, that would be great if Skeletor was like a vampire or epileptic or something. But he's not, so he's about as useful as a mirror. Speaking of useless, Multibot is just two robots stuck together. Like some sort of robo-centipede experiment. Oh, and let's not forget about King Hiss, who I'm pretty sure is just a bunch of snakes that found a pair of trousers. Uh, did I mention that the guys at Mattel had, like, zero naming creativity? Seriously, listen to a few of these names. Buzz Off, Grizzlor, Manny Faces, who is a guy who swaps his faces, Ninjor, who is just a ninja. Oh, and they also had a thing for gimmicky arms. Like Fisto. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. His name is Mother Effin' Fisto because he has a metal fist think that's bad? Well, let me introduce you to Clawful, a bad guy with a crab face and claw. Then there's Strongarm, who has an extending metal arm. I mean, how does that not seem totally impractical? What's he gonna do, hold things out of He-Man's reach? But possibly the dumbest character Mattel ever made was Stinkor. You see, Stinkor didn't have some cool power or awesome weapon. He simply smelled like shit. In fact, they even mixed patchouli oil into the plastic so the toy would stink! Now, if you don't remember Stinkor, there's a good reason for it. In the most ass-backwards process ever, Mattel would actually make the toys first and then have the writers and animators create the show around them. But Stinkor was so stupid that he was shot down immediately and never made it to either the original He-Man or She-Ra show. However, since they already made the toy, Stinkor made it into one comic titled The Stench of Evil, and for god knows why, he was eventually put into the 2002 Masters of the Universe reboot, and it's here that we learned his backstory. Stinkor was Odifus, a normal anamorphic cat person who was a small-time thief. And how they held back making a cat burglar joke is beyond me. One day, Odifus got into a little bit of a chemical accident that for some reason made the worst smell in the world. Now, Stinkor secretes his foul odor. And to his dismay, he is not immune to the stench. Which is why he has to wear an oxygen mask. Yep, even Stinkor hates himself. Way to go, Mattel! Call me Stinkor! 
<laughs> hey, like this episode and share it with your friends. Or don't, you know, whatever works for you. But you should click one of these buttons that takes you to another video. Maybe even the mystery video. Okay, well I'm leaving now, but feel free to leave a comment about your favorite Masters of the Universe character. Do it, or Stingor will get you! I could spray the plants and wash away all the worms! Oh please, spray them! Okay, here goes!